Peter said they were going to help the homeless and drug addicts, but instead, they're the ones in trouble. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brenda Medina. A Brownsville church is part of a federal investigation accused of forcing people to work and then keeping their money. Local 23's Derek Garcia breaks down this case. Church leaders at Brownsville Restoration Church are accused of dirty deeds by federal investigators in a multi-state case. Hello? Local 23 News. The church is part of Imperial Valley's Ministries, also known as IVN. It was founded back in the 1970s and opened places of worships across the country. But federal investigators accused church leaders in California and Brownsville of extorting their church followers. Victor Gonzalez, Susan Christine Oliva, Jose Anthony Diaz, also known as Joe, Jose de Mara Flores, and Mercedes Gonzalez, also known as Mercy are all accused of extorting their church followers by forcing them to give up their SNAP benefits and targeting homeless and drug addicts by offering faith-based rehab. In exchange, they would live and eat at their homes. But to get what they needed, they had to follow 29 rules, including no contact to family, friends, or even their spouses without permission. They can never leave by themselves. And the only book they were allowed to read is the Holy Bible. And the final rule, quote, none of the rules apply to the pastor or his family. End quote. Federal prosecutors accused the five of taking oh, SNAP benefits God. and forcing them to work and refuse to give back the church members' legal documents and fraudulently use what they would forcefully take. That was uh, Derek Garcia reporting. Well, each crime, if convicted, comes with a hefty prison time. Conspiracy holds a five years in prison sentence, forced labor and document servitude, a 20 years sentence in prison, and benefits fraud also comes with a 20 years in prison sentence.